The majestic pitons in Soufra were inscribed as a World Heritage Site on June 30, 2004, at the 28th session of the World Heritage Committee in China. Since then, several developments in the protected area have threatened that status. The issue was raised recently when the controversial Magnushi development in a section of the Pito management area took the spotlight. Now, the National Trust is again concerned that government has given approval in principle for another development within the PME. According to the National Trust Executive Director, Bishnu Tulsi, government requested that the developer consult with UNESCO and the World Heritage Authorities before the development begins. However, Tulsi says that situation should be a national concern. Further, he wants government to pursue a limit of acceptable chain study to inform and guide the work of the Development Control Authority. The PMA was always, would always be a difficult site to manage because of its nature, it, of its multiple use nature. Um, what we need to do is to translate the agreements that we have with UNESCO into policy guidelines which will guide the decisions of the Development Control Authority. That has not happened as yet. Government needs to move quickly to do the limits of acceptable change study and, and superimpose that on the commitments we made to UNESCO and, and, and make those policies um, so that the DCA will be guided by, by government's intention and the requirements to retain the PMA as a World Heritage Site. However, the chairman of the DCA says all the information pertaining to the loss of the World Heritage status is mere speculation at this time. Speaking to us on Tuesday, Clem Bob said he would not be in a position to comment until he speaks with Housing and Urban Renewal Minister Richard Frederick on the matter. Still, he questions the availability of documentation to support Tulsi's claims. However, the National Trust Executive Director is worried that the prestigious UNESCO status will be downgraded or revoked. Our understanding is that um, the World Heritage Committee will be considering whether or not the PMA still retains its um, outstanding universal value. If they feel it does, then it will remain a World Heritage Site. If they feel it does not, they will place it on the list of World Heritage in danger. At the last meeting of the World Heritage Committee, the government of St. Lucia was asked to submit a State of Conservation report on the site. That report will be considered by the committee in July in deciding the future of the Peter management area on the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites. The Chief Sustainable Development and Environment Officer in the Ministry of Physical Development, Crispin Dovey, warns that the Peter's World Heritage status should not be compromised for any development. To be frank, if you if you sign on to an international, basically an international convention, because World Heritage status is is, is um, assigned or or granted according to a set of rules, so I think any any country, anybody that that, that agrees that to ha you know that an area should be set aside, should try as best as possible to comply with with the rules. Among the 878 World Heritage sites, more than 30 are listed by UNESCO as endangered sites. The National Trust wants to ensure that the Peter management area is not added to that number. In fact, the Trust says it's prepared to fight to protect St. Lucia's heritage and to ensure that the world heritage status is retained. Shannon LeBon, HDS News, Channel 4.